Diceste questa sera le vostre preghi. Se vi sovviene di qualche colpa commesso, che attende grazia dal ciel, imbrattelo posto. Perché? La fretta uccidere non voglio. L'anima tua Sì Pensa a tuoi peccati Per tutto Nella sua mano vivi, confessa, parla per giù, penso che sei sul tuo letto di morte, non per morire, per morire tosto. Morto è per sempre.
Ti sposa ti baciai. After strangling Desdemona, Otello learns too late of her innocence and Iago's perfidy. Stabs himself and falls, but drags himself to the bed where his wife lies, her head falling over the foot. He kisses the hand of her drooping, lifeless arm, and he dies seeing the words he lovingly spoke to his wife in the first act. Un bacio, un bacio ancora, un altro bacio. A kiss, another kiss, a final kiss. The encore curtains are just parting now. The principles of this final act of Verdi's Otello will be making their curtain calls. James McCracken was our Otello. Leonie Rizanek, our Desdemona. The curtains are moving, they part, here they are, the two of them, Mr. McCracken in his silver and black tunic, as Otello, Leonie Rizanek, with a beautiful turquoise overcape and a simple white uh, gown trimmed with gold as Desdemona. Here's uh, John Alexander's Casio in his gold tunic with its metal-like stripes. And the next to him, 
Anselmo Colzani, Iago, then Leone Rizanek, Desdemona, James McCracken, Otello, Janice Martin as Amelia, William Wilderman in his golden white costume as uh, Lodovico, and Clifford Harville, Montano. <laughs>